Hey everybody, it's me, Mrs. Salazar, and I want to talk to you about how we can change this quadratic equation into vertex form by using completing the square. Okay, so we've done it in class and you hated it, so I made this video hoping that you won't hate it so much. The first thing I'm going to do is let y equal zero, and I guess you could write that down if it makes you feel good. We'll write zero equals x squared plus six x plus four. Now the next step would be to move that four over here. So we'll do the opposite on both sides. And now we have negative four equals x squared plus six x. And now here comes the completing the square part. We take this middle term, our b term, cut it in half and square it. So we do six over two squared. You do that to both sides. Okay? So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So now we have 9 minus 4 equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. Here we have a perfect square trinomial, and we know that is equal to x plus 3 squared. And over here, that's 5. Now you could do this by using the box and diamond, factor it if you didn't know, and we would go like this. Um, x squared here, 9 here, and we get 9x squared. Then we make a diamond, 9x squared at the top, and then in the middle, we put the 6x, and we get 3x and 3x, and we put that here, okay? And that's why we wanted to learn our shortcut, so we wouldn't have to do this. So we have x plus 3 times x plus 3, which equals x plus 3, or the quantity of x plus 3 squared. So that is all the math that it takes to get here, okay? Now, I'm going to erase that because we need to put this in vertex form and I need room. So from here, I'm going to come up here, I'll rewrite it. And I take out the five from both sides. So now I have zero equals x plus three squared minus five. And I let y equal zero, so I could put y back in here. y equals x plus 3 squared minus 5. And my vertex will be the opposite of that 3, so negative 3, and your negative 5. Okay? All right, boys and girls, if you have any questions, please email me, or you can leave a comment in Google Classroom. Thank you. Bye.